if you have a propeller-based drone delivering things between hospitals, you can have them land in tiny places. You can have basically a little drone port on the window of a room. One thing that was coming to my mind is one of the problems we have today is this uh, enormous issue with the delivery of the vaccine. And uh, I know that there are lots of components to it. So there are components that, that is the temperature, the, uh, the um, uh, injection of the vaccine and so on. But could we envision a different way to do distribution with drones that, I mean, is there any study that you're aware of or any even futuristic uh, study that shows that we could distribute items in a more effective uh, granular way? So what would change in a drone first of all, basically? Right. So it depends what part of the world you're looking at. There's this company called Zipline that uh, it's already operating in Africa. And they, one of the main things that they do is that they, like you mentioned, they have these, these hubs and they use kind of catapults to launch their drones and they deliver uh, drugs and blood to remote locations in Africa. Um, and these are locations that either have like really terrible roads or we took too long to get there for, for just delivering one single thing. So they've been operating for a few years already, and they've and they have like really great, um, really great drones with redundant systems and a lot of things. So they've been proving this model, um, and I think they started some operations here in the U.S. I'm, I'm unclear of what they're what they're doing. I think in in, in the case of like hospitals and delivering things, uh, one of the one of the uh, kind of applications that comes up is imagine that you have to. Um, transport some, some things that are critical in terms of time transport organs from yeah. one hospital to another right and and um, you, you usually do this like using ambulances or uh, a helicopter right and you have you need to have hospitals that have um, heliports in the case of drones you really need a tiny space right oh, I should say that there there are three types of, of drones the ones that are fixed wing basically like planes the ones that are called VTOLs, the vertical takeoff, but then fly like planes. Um, and then the ones that are propeller based that most people are familiar with that are like kind of the hobbyist DJI's drones. If you have a propeller based drone delivering things between hospitals, you can have them land in tiny places. You can have basically a little drone port on the window of a room, right? A little thing coming out um, that's just um, things that drop there. So. I think the future there is still a little bit unclear. And to your, to your question directly about vaccine, I'm not sure how that could have been used here in the US. But, but things like I mentioned in Africa, I think it definitely has uh, an, an application and in, in places that are hard to, to, to get to. Maybe, I mean, the US has locations like that as well. So right now, uh, if we look at the near future, it seems that using the drone to watch stuff is the main use. Uh, in places where nobody, either nobody watches today or it would cost a lot or it's very difficult to access. In terms of the drone bringing stuff from one place to another, this is uh, still in the face of an idea. It has been proven somewhere else in the world, but it's kind of a question mark whether it does have a tangible benefit um, in the immediate future here in the US, as far as I yeah, can Yeah, it, it depends what you, what you call in the immediate future, right? If this, this industry thinks immediate, maybe three to five years ahead, right? That's, that's, a, that's kind of short term. Google has invested with the Project Wing um, uh, significant resources on this as well and operating, and I believe it's New Zealand, proving this same, same idea, right? And the benefits are known. We just need to figure out the regulatory side and and kind of complete the suite of technologies that would make flying safer.